Squirt, squirt, up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back. Today is Monday. This is going up for Tuesday. You guys know this is how I like to do videos. Whenever I have work, I like the first video that I put out to be about work. And then um, afterwards, you know, I'll talk about whatever else I want to talk about. Like um, Thursday's video, I already have it planned where um, I want to talk about um, what's going on with my car and a few like games like stream wise what stopped me from doing some games um but yeah today work let's talk about what happened last tuesday i left for oakland i had to work in oakland it was actually a pretty decent event i started at 2 and then i got off at like well i got off at like 11 um technically but was it 11 no i probably got off at like 10 30 um either way i was in oakland i was working for the um oakland a's they were having a free event so I had to go out there, I had to park people, you know. It was a decent job. It was nothing special. That was on Tuesday. The cool thing, though, is that Sunday I got paid for it in cash. So, hey, cool, tax-free money. Um, it's really awesome. So, either way, that's what happened. Um, oh, shit, I saw someone over there. Yep. The work was really easy, you know. I just had to park cars. And, you know, it was kind of stressful because I've never worked Oakland before. And everyone was telling me, like, come on, David, don't you know how to do this? I'm like, yeah, I know how to park, but I've never been in Oakland. Everyone's like, what? You've never been in Oakland? Like, this whole event was a first time for everything. It was my first time working in Oakland. It was my first time um, staying in Nevada Oaks, which is a pretty cool uh, Best Western. A really cool hotel. Um, it was my first time ever being supervisor as well. And we'll talk about that more. But let's get rid of Oakland first because it was the first event. So, yeah, Oakland parking. Um... Worked on Tuesday, got paid Sunday. Um, I was there because I was staying, I was going to be working in Sonoma this weekend, or last weekend. Um, they're like, yeah, just stay after, you know, you'll stay with us, you can stay in our hotel, um, but you're going to be with us the whole night, we're going to do cleanup. I'm like, alright, I could do cleanup, that's no problem. So, um, there really wasn't much of a cleanup. The event was left clean, like, we cleaned sh for, like, a very short amount of time. Other than that, it was fine, we left, we ended up getting dinner, and then, um... Besides dinner, we, you know, we get back to the lot that we were parking, and it's like, well, there's, like, no trash. It's like, everyone just go, you know, we could leave. There's no point in staying here. What the f- Oh, he threw a grenade. Oh, he threw a fucking Molotov. So, you know, it's like, this lot's clean. We could leave. So, we leave. We, you know, we go put this truck back. We do whatever we had to do. We leave. We go to Novato. We stay in one hotel for the night, and then, um, after that, you know, it's like, hey, next day, Wednesday, we're in, um... Sonoma doing this cool event now all we were doing was parking but the event was kind of cool hearing what it was it was eco like people were there from colleges high schools um elementary schools families were there and the whole event was just people building these really cool cars and what I mean by really cool is they're little like prototype cars but the promise of what the cars could do supposedly these cars could get 4,000 miles per gallon at the very least the winner of last year's event was actually in Europe. It was a European team. We had teams from, like, Brazil, Asia, everywhere across the world. And this European team got, like, 12,000 miles per gallon. And, you know, these are engines are trying to mass produce and have for the future. And I'm like, dude, if you could have these cars be a little bit more powerful and then um, still have this gas mileage, dude, they would make a lot of money. Because, like, these cars went maybe, like, 20 miles per hour at the most. Um, getting 4,000 miles to the gallon is fucking insane, first off. But I'm like, if you could power them up a little bit more and put them in a motorcycle body, dude, these bikes would go on forever. Because, like, motorcycles already have a good enough, um, gas mileage, but, you know, give it even greater gas mileage, give it more power. Dude, you've got, you've got a million dollars on your hand. Like, it will probably be expensive, like, the first model until they tone it down and think, like, alright, this is all we need to do. But still... Having that gas mileage and a little motorcycle would be amazing. I would buy one, definitely. I'm already considering a motorcycle anyways. But, um, for Sonoma, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was actually supervisor at the event, which is really cool. Except kind of weird because the other people who were working the event were, like, people who have been working way longer than me. Like, these are, like, the original people who have been working with Ronnie for a while. And I was in charge of them, and I've only been working since 2016. But these new people were already, you know, like, I was in charge of them. I'm like, dude, that's fucking sweet, you know? But it's like, it felt weird, especially because, like, you know, I had to do a lot of decisions. Like, a lot of people ask me stuff. They're like, 
or I would ask people, I'd be like, hey, what do you think? Like, should I do this? Should I do that? And Andrea, she did it joking around, but like she would do it a lot. She's like, I don't know. You're the supervisor. Why don't you tell us? I'm like, well, it's like, fuck. I, you know, it was an easy job being supervisor, but it's like, fuck, I didn't ask to be supervisor. It would, like put me in a weird, awkward position because I really didn't know what the hell to do much. But um, either way, the event was actually really good. Um, easy, you know, we parked people. There weren't any problems. There was only one problem, and I'll speak about it in a bit, but um, there was like, we had two new employees too who were working, and it's like, or we had three new employees, um, one of which I don't think is gonna come back because the person she came with is like, no, I don't wanna bring her back, you know. It would just avoid a lot of headaches if we didn't bring her back. The second one I feel doesn't wanna come back because she was like very bitchy about it. Like, you know, we had to take lunches at certain times. I'm the one who had to decide what times to take lunches. And I kept pushing it back more and more because the people running the cafe where we would get our food never had stuff ready on time. Like, lunches were supposed to start at 10 a.m. And then I sent people to lunch at 10. Oh, their lunch wasn't ready. So I'm like, all right, then let's push it back a little bit more. Do you guys okay with that? You know, the people were like, yeah, it's fine. You know, push it back um, to ensure the food's ready. So I push it back to 1030. They still didn't have their fucking stuff right. The cafe wasn't on time. So, you know, that was Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm like, you know what? What we're going to do instead, because today we're leaving early, we're going to have groups of three go to lunch at a time. We'll start at 11. And this one girl was just very complaining. She's like, she ended up saying the one person who said it to another who said it to Andrea, and Andrea said it to me. And she's like, she's just bitching because, you know, we work six hours, then we finally get a break. I'm like, I've told her before she wants to sit down or take a break to do it, like, but she was just, like, very complaining, and I told her, like, multiple times not to, like, discourage her, but I'm, like, I was being super lenient, super cool, giving people breaks. Like, I'm not trying to push anyone too hard, you know? We don't have to work super hard for this event, but, you know, I'm just telling her straight up. I'm, like, hey, if you do this, I told this to everyone. I'm, like, if you do decide to come to um, Sonoma for actual events later on, just be aware it's not going to be this laid back. Sonoma is a very strict um it's a strict event. You can't really, you know, lean back. You can't do much here. Like, oh, it's a grenade. I'm just like, yeah, just be aware. If you do come to Sonoma for an actual NASCAR event, we don't take breaks. The way we take, the way lunches work is they come around with box lunches. And then we, um, he fucking shot me while dying. Wow. I was telling them like, yeah, actual Sonoma events are way different. We are not, you know, we don't get to eat in this cafe first off. They bring us sandwiches Secondly, we actually have to work while eating. We don't get an actual break to sit down. And I'm like, other than that, it's not bad, but just be aware that it's not like this for real Sonoma events. You're going to be working your ass off. It's like, from the second you get there to the second you get off, you're not sitting down. You're not doing anything. You're stuck working. And I'm like, you know, it's not bad. You have a bunch of more people, so you could kind of, you know, not all of it is brought onto you, but... I guess she didn't like hearing that, and she was saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm not coming back, like, whatever. And I'm like, you know, she didn't do a bad job. She did a great job of what she had to do. All she had to do was just, she had a flag, and she had to send people down specific lanes. That's it. Super easy, but, you know, I was trying to make it easier, too, like, trying to be a cool, lenient supervisor, not trying to push people. I don't want to get rid of people, you know. Having more people for these events would be cool, because then it helps out. But I guess she didn't like hearing, you know, and other people were telling her stories too. Like, we weren't telling her anything bad, but I guess she just didn't like hearing what was going on. So she, uh, supposedly she, not, she may not be coming back. I'm like, all right, I'm fine with that. You know, we have good workers. We don't really need her. But, you know, I also don't want someone who's going to be out here bitching and complaining while we work. Um, and yeah, supervisor position was just super cool. It was like, you know, I pretty much... I still helped out. Like, I had a cart to sit on, but I wasn't trying to be in the cart the whole time. Like, I would try to get out of the cart, you know, park it, and then help people. Like, you know, if someone's struggling over here, I would hop out of the car. I'd help them. I'd park, you know. I'm not trying to sit on the cart 24-7 and be lazy. I'm trying to help people out. You know, I don't want people to hate me. Like, I really don't care if they hate me, but it's like, I'm not trying to have people hate me for no reason, you know. Oh, shit. So, I'm out. I'm helping. We're going to push this video past 10 minutes. You know, I would help people out. I would park, you know. If someone needed to use the restroom and they didn't want to use the porta potties I'd be like, here, do you know how to drive the cart? They'd be, you know, if they didn't, I'd give them a quick little tour on how. And I'd be like, all right, here, take the cart, go to the bathroom down at the cafe or go to the bathroom anywhere that you know that there's one at. But, um, you know, 
Friday was a busy day, Saturday was the busiest, and then Sunday was just super dead, to the point where we actually got to leave at 1 um, p.m. instead of 4 p.m. And I was so lenient that, um, I was telling people, I'm like, I was telling, because, um, we had three groups, so we had three cars and three groups of people there this weekend. We had Miss Anderson, we had Melissa, and then we had me. And I would tell Miss Anderson's car, I'm like, hey, if you guys want to, this is completely on you. I'm not going to dock you. I'm not going to get you guys in trouble. I'm the one giving you this idea. Ronnie doesn't even know about this. I'm like, hey, if you guys want to leave 30 minutes early, go right ahead. Just let me know and you guys can leave, you know. Just don't duck out. Let me know and I'll, you know, we'll cover your spots. And yeah, people left 30 minutes early. I told the same to Melissa. She left 30 minutes early. I left like 10 minutes early just to ensure that nothing happened in that time while I was gone because you never know. 10 minutes, a lot could happen in 10 minutes, so I'd rather, you know, ensure that it's actually dead before I leave. I'm pretty sure there's, like, a Playboy magazine out here somewhere. So, um, you know, we all left early, um, let's see, Saturday, I'm trying to think of, like, how to tell a story. Um, but pretty much Sunday was just so dead that, um, I had Karina come out. I told my mom, like, hey, bring Karina out here, you know, show her, because she wants to work too. I'm like, show her, in two years when she gets her work permit, she could come out here and work. And, you know, I showed Karina the job, and she's like, okay, this isn't bad. You know, I could do this. I'm like, yeah, you see, it's super easy. And I told her, too, I'm like, you're young, you're a girl. Ronnie isn't going to have you doing this out here. Ronnie will actually protect you. He will keep you up near the office, but you'll still be working. You'll make money. Um, and she enjoyed it. She seemed to be like, okay, yeah, I actually do want to come out and do this. Um, and I guess we'll end it on this part. This might be the end of the game, too. Is that Joe? Um, pretty much, Saturday, there was the only day we had a problem. And no one else had a problem. It was just me because, you know, I'm supervisor. I had to deal with, you know, people messing up. And um, one guy decided to park in a different lot. And we're trying to fill up lots before we move on to different ones. So this guy parked in media lot instead of lot two. And he didn't even park correctly. Pretty much when we park, we have a line like this that we had to park cars behind. And we'll park a car behind him. So, this guy goes into media lot and parks halfway over the line where his car's sticking out halfway. And I'm like, sir, you can't be parked like this. I'm like, one, we're trying to fill up that lot. Two, you can't be parked over the line. He's like, no, no, no. It's fine. I work for media. I'm like, okay, sir. It doesn't matter what you work for. You can't be parking wherever. He's like, you know, he's like, don't worry. You're not even going to fill this lot. And I'm like, bet. I'm like, I literally said to him, I'm like, bet. So, my goal as soon as he left is like, you know what? Fuck him. We're filling up this lot ASAP. Yeah, ASAP. I'm like, you know what? We're going to fill up this lot to fucking prove this asshole wrong. So, um, he's going on. He's like, I, I'm i like, all right, whatever. You say we're not going to fill this lot up, bet. I'll show you otherwise. I didn't tell him that, but I'm like, all right, bet. So, um, I have him park his car behind the line. I'm like, well, if you're going to park here, park behind the line. You can't just be parked anywhere you want. And he's like, okay, fine. So, he parks behind the line, but he parks too far back. So I stop, I'm like, I shake my head. I'm like, no, I move my hands. I'm like, no, you need to be on the line. You can't be behind it. So he gets mad at this point. He fucking throws this car into neutral, lets it coast down the hill, slams on his brakes and fucking throws his car in park hella loud, you know, throws his door open, jumps out of his car. The funny part though, is that he was on a hill that was full of wet grass. So he almost slips and falls. I laugh at it. We're done with the game. Um, we'll be back. Thursday with the DLC, but yeah, he parks his car, jumps out, almost falls, I fucking smile, I'm laughing, he gets mad at me, and he grabs his shit, you know, throws open his trunk, grabs his camera equipment, fucking leaves, at that point, as soon as I see him go down the hill, I call on the radio, I'm like, Andrea, Daniel, I need you over here in media lot, and then they come over, and I call over to Miss Anderson, who was directing traffic to go, I'm like, Miss Anderson, what I need you to do, throw every car into media lot, we're fucking filling this lot up ASAP to prove this asshole wrong, so we fill up the lot within an hour, you know, and then we're like, all right, come on, hop back in the car. We're going back over to the lot too. So we do that and, um, you know, we fill up the lot. At the end of the day, I see this guy come back all happy. I'm like, oh, I'm going to ruin your fucking happiness. I hop in the car. I fly over to him. I'm, and the first thing out of my mouth is like, so would you say we weren't going to fill this lot? Because it looks pretty fucking full to me. He gets mad. He's, he says something like he's going to report me. I'm like. Who are you going to report me to, bitch? I'm the supervisor. 
And it was pretty much it. Um, Karina came, easy work. It was just an easy all-around event. You know, just that was the only problem I had throughout these this whole week of work was just one guy being mouthy, thinking he's the shit, at which point I'm like, no, bet. We're going to fill up this lot just to spite you. But, yeah, guys, that's it. I will see you guys. Um, Let's see. I don't want to say it because I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. There might be a video tomorrow um, for uh, family bonding if we can record it in time. We're going to try to record it today on Monday, have it out on Wednesday. But um, definitely 100%, we will be back Thursday for more Mafia 2 where we take a look at... I'm not sure which DLC comes first, but I'm going to look up which DLC to play in first and then we'll come back. So guys, on Thursday, we'll be back with more Mafia 2. Until then, have an awesome day. I'll be talking about um, car things, like car happenings with my uh, volvo and then what's happening with like live streaming so until then have an awesome day thank you so much for watching bye